All right, so I'm going to demonstrate the program that I made uh, to help me generate 3D level geometry from 2D images uh, because the game I was working on uh, had very special level design requirements where modular design wasn't going to fit everything that I needed. Uh, this is just a demonstration and not a tutorial, so I'm not going to go over every single detail. I'm just going to show uh, basically what it does and then maybe a demo of how I use it. Uh, so the first thing that I need to do is actually uh, make these layers and just looking at it you can see it basically looks like a uh, floor plan. Um, the walls and the floors and where doorways and windows are going to be color coded and this is so that my program understands uh, what type of values uh, it needs to apply when generating the geometry. So for this example, I'm going to show something that I have already pre-made uh, before I try to show like a process of building from scratch. Um, in this case, this is a colonial inn that I had designed. Um, there's four floors. Uh, this is the basement. And then on another layer, I have um, the main floor. So there's a backyard area, um, the lobby, front desk. Uh, dining area, a lounge, and a kitchen. Um, second floor is going to be more bedrooms. And um, same with the third floor. Uh, so this is my program uh, that I made. Uh, so I actually already had the file selected. I'm going to go ahead and hit import. And wait for it to import the image. Um, it also processes all the pixels at this point. Uh, as you can see here, when I imported it, it figured out how many floors there were, and it automatically created these uh, uh, definitions for each floor. And just to show a little bit of like what this is, basically for each floor, it has certain properties, like the starting height, the end height, um, the the color definitions for what the walls are, uh, doors, windows, and there's a whole bunch of heights, and frame thicknesses, and things like that. Um, there's other properties for boxes and stairs. And if I need more than one kind of stair, or I need more than one kind of window, I can add multiple of these. I can add as many as I need. Um, and so those are the definitions. Um, so I already had a file made, let me find it here, uh, where I had already set up the properties. Um, so with those two files set up, I can go ahead and generate the actual mesh. Okay, so the build is finished. So I showed you before that, that floor plan, but now you can see. Um, so I can preview this in here and uh, just kind of see how um, everything is laid out. Uh, so this looks good. I'm going to go ahead and export this. All right. Now I'm going to go to Unreal. And I already had this level uh, set up just so I could demonstrate this quickly. Uh, I don't know what changes I made to this, so I'm going to go ahead and re import this mesh real quick. And uh, let me just save this. Uh, also, just to show this uh, in the static mesh uh, preview. Um, so yeah, it exported uh, what I needed um, on pretty much the same geometry that was in uh, showing in my program. Uh, but in here I want to demonstrate, or actually just show also, uh, the simple collision. This might be hard to see on the video because the green lines are so thin. Uh, but again, it generates all the simple collision. Um, 
Uh, so I have optimized collision for this for testing, so I don't I don't have to just import a mesh and then set it to collide per poly. And with that done, um, I can actually go ahead and test this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and walk around here. So this was the lounge area. This was the lobby. Over here was the kitchen. And I uh, used uh, some color from my box definition to put where I, where I believe I'm going to have the steam table, uh, the stove, uh, prep tables. Uh, it's like a public bathroom over here. Back over here was like the basement area. It doesn't look like much with just these development textures, but you get the idea. Uh, boiler room, storage room. This back corner is going to be like a wine cellar. And an electrical room over there. Uh, let's take a look at the second floor real quick. And then I'll uh, move on. So here's some stairs, uh, some of the bedrooms, and back through here uh, is like the sunroom. So it's got larger, more open windows. Um, so the cool thing about my program is that because things are in definitions, instead of having like modular pieces where I need to right click all of these and then replace all of them, like if I have a window height that I don't know I want yet exactly, like if this doesn't feel right or this wasn't exactly what I wanted, uh, then I can show you what I can do. So back in my program, I'm going to go to the, so the second floor will be here, level two definitions. Uh, so those windows, I believe, were this definition here. Uh, so let's say I didn't, and let's take a look. Uh, so let's say I didn't like uh, these being just uh, 20 units. Uh, let's say I wanted them at like 80 and the top height at uh, 280. Um, I can just change the definition here, and then I can hit build, and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay. Um, so actually, 280 was <laughs> too high. It was right at the ceiling. Uh, so I changed it uh, down to 260. Uh, but so now I have different windows just by uh, changing that definition. Um, since this is all set up, I just hit another button to export again. Now that that's exported, I can just open up Unreal again, and I just come here, re-import, give it a moment. And now I can take a look at my new windows. And, you know, I could play this and test it out and see if I like this. Uh, you know, maybe I do like this more. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, modify something here. Um, just uh, one more demonstration. Um, so I'm going to do this by hand. I'm going to edit the, the lounge area. I'm just going to make up something. Nothing that I'm really going to keep. Uh, so instead of this other back porch area, I'm going to make this, say I want this to be like a laundry room. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start editing this. Um, so let me make these walls here. Uh, these double doors. I want to move these uh, to be more centered. 
so we'll just move them there. Um, so I made a space here. This could be like a fireplace. I put a wall here with two doors and this, which I, I guess will be a laundry room or something. And you know, this could be a bar and this could be like the lounge. And this is like, I don't know. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and save this and just uh, test this real quick. So I made a change there. I'm going to go ahead and hit import again on the image. And the lounge is this space right here. I'm going to go ahead and do another build. After it's building, I can check it out. So now it added just exactly what I had built there. That weird box space and these, uh, you know, now it's the room's separated by two more doors. This is now enclosed, so I can use it for my laundry room. And this could be a bar, this could be a lounge, and over here is the fireplace spot, maybe. And yeah, so that's one way I uh, edit. I'd like to show one last demonstration real quick of uh, how I might go about prototyping like a section of a building where I'm not really sure exactly what, what I want. Like I said before, um, I can have uh, pre-made stuff. So for example, I can have a room that's pre-made or uh, different layouts of rooms that take up the same space that I can kind of uh, uh, put into place where I need to. Uh, to quickly uh, flesh something out and I could make like a whole bunch of these that I just kind of have on, on hand just like a library of them that I can just pick and choose and uh, see so I'm gonna take this uh, apartment um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, paste this on here and I'm gonna try and line this up Uh, so I'll just put that there, and then I'll paste this again, uh, but this time I'm going to flip it horizontally. Because this is kind of, I suppose, how... Uh, real apartments are kind of laid out where you have an apartment and then the next one is flipped. I assume they do that so that all of the plumbing probably sits along the same wall. Uh, I'm not exactly an architect so I'm not sure but yep and now I can just copy this paste this again except now I can flip this uh, and I can offset it a little bit as well so that uh other apartment doorways aren't right in front of each other. Again, it's something I commonly see, but I'm not an architect, uh, so I don't really know. Um, I think hotels are like that as well. Um, yeah, so that, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, merge these down. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and build this, and we're going to see what it looks like back in my program uh, here's the single hallway I started with I'm gonna go ahead and uh, import the file the new file that I saved and then I'm going to go ahead and do a build and here's what it looks like after I built it uh, looks good so I'm going to go ahead and export this. And come back into Unreal. Re-import this mesh.
So now I got it back here in Unreal. Um, again, let me just double check all the collision was generated. All looks good. And more importantly, I can just quickly jump in and uh, test. Uh, so now I have a hallway with all of these apartments. Oh, bedroom area, closet, uh, bathroom. So this is sort of like a living room, kitchen split. I forget exactly what this was when I was designing it. Um, but yeah, now I have all these uh, rooms in the hallway, and so I can quickly uh, build and lay out like larger things. Like if I wanted to build a full apartment complex, you know, once I get a floor done, I can duplicate the floor, make changes. If I need to add a stairwell, I can add that, add the lobby, and then I have an entire comp, you know, apartment complex. Or or if I wanted to build a hospital or whatever I need. Um, now this doesn't really show. I didn't really demonstrate my exact workflow. Obviously, there's a lot of things I need to do. Like, I do lay down a general design of what I want. I do research on the architecture and floor plans for what I need to build. Um, and again, uh, the reason why I use this is because there's some things where I'm just not going to have modular pieces where I'm going to need special cases for closets and specific type of bathrooms and you know, wall dividers across kitchens, things like that, so. Um, but this, uh, you know, I can very, very, very quickly prototype very large uh, environments, and that's what I use it for. Uh, so that's basically it.